Hey, this is King Firehawk from 1640 PWPR. Coming up, the Blind Tag Podcast, which is exclusive here to 1640 PWPR, the home of pro wrestling podcast radio and more. Podcast world, once again, you've reached the blind tag. My name is Big Dick Gideon, alongside Dante and Krim of the Fallen Angels. Hey! And, hey, uh, y'all! What up, guys? <laughs> so, uh, we're two this week. We're banged two out this week. Yeah, we're, 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 we're busy. We've well, been busy. It's been a busy couple weeks. The reason why is because this coming Sunday, we have fast Krim huh? has a show. I do! I do have a and show. You know. I'll push that at the end of this show. Yeah. <laughs> so if you want to know where I'm going to be, you're going to have to listen all the way to the end of this podcast. Exactly. So, so you might sir. as well just listen the whole thing. Yeah. yeah. Your shit's, your shit's, yeah. shit's out of luck. All right. So we do want to start the, the podcast off with something a, a little more on a serious note. Because um, sometimes about, we do need to get a little serious about some shit. Yeah. So sometimes. We sometimes. want to talk about, we, we did mention on our last podcast that Axel, Axel Rotten had um, died. Uh, unfortunately, and it's come out that he died from an accidental overdose of heroin. Um, there obviously, there's a lot of opinions flying around. Um, you know, when this when this evidence came to light, um, there was a uh, an article written by uh, let me by Jonas Schaefer of the Baltimore Sun of the Baltimore Sun who uh, decided to write an article on Axel Rotten dying from over- overdose. Um, and there's a lot of things going around on Facebook. Um, people dropping their own opinions and saying, you know, well, you know, he, he, you know, I, people who loved him, but thought he died, you know, 20 years ago because, you know, he, he, he basically gave himself over to heroin and addiction. Some people f- fall off in this ga- face of obscurity or whatnot. And well, that, yeah, well, I'm going to touch on that. Yeah, well, we're, bit, yeah, yeah. We're, we're setting you up. We're building you okay. up. We've got to build up, got to build up the pyre before we, before we set it ablaze. Um, um. But the the idea being that, you know, Axel Rotten, regardless of whether or not he had his own demons, which obviously he clearly did, mm-hmm. um, it seems to be a reoccurring theme in the wrestling business. And, you know, uh, Dante went ahead and did her research, and um, she, she's got a few things that, that people need to hear. So go ahead. All right. we, well, first off, well, we do research here. <laughs> we just, uh, I, just I, have to go, man. I did Boy, some, am I behind? I did some learning. You did some learning today. But a lot of this actually does come from personal experience and actually watching it myself, mm-hmm. <clears throat> being involved in the late '90s and early 2000s when it was still very much the rock and roll party. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, as we just stated, you know, Axel recently passed away. Like we mentioned last week on our podcast, mm-hmm. and although though it's come to light that he was found on the floor of a McDonald's OD on heroin, something he had struggled with since his ECW days, and in reality, it was a suicide. Yeah. Physical and emotional pain got too much for him, as it does for dozens and dozens of forgotten workers who destroyed their bodies, families, and futures for a pipe dream of one day making it to the WWE. In the mid to late 80s to the early 2000s, wrestling was the hotbed for substance abuse. We're talking from every type of drug they could get their hands on and steroids. Yeah. Even over the, ca- over, over the counter stuff was, are you kidding me? Oh, like, the boys would go to Canada and be like, all right, they'd come home with shopping bags full of shit. Yeah. yeah. You know, full of stuff. They'd have full pharmacies in their, in their gimmick bags. Yeah. And yeah. You know, it's brother. What is? What are you giving me? I don't know. Let me know how it works. <laughs> yeah, let right? me know how that works out. Yeah, I mean, look at it this way. Also, back then and even now, 
You get to the building. You got four or five hours to just fuck around and you got nothing to do. Sometimes guys will do promos. But, you know, most of the times back in the old days, they would either drink and play cards or, you know, do other things. As you can see in some very famous promos done by, you know, Macho Man and Ultimate Warrior and Roddy Piper. Those guys were out of their and, mind And you can coke. see it. But it was <laughs> acceptable. Yeah. And it was encouraged to live that rock star lifestyle so our generation growing up and watching that and then falling in and taking care of these legends that were still living that way yeah like when we took care of jimmy back in the late 19 you know in the 1990s to early 2000 he was it was he was drinking and you know partying and that's what it was and it's still that way for some of the guys yeah um but yeah and then Okay, so, you know, (laughs) pills, pain, and suicide go hand in hand with wrestling. The list of names grows every year of those who have given their lives for a dream and a passion nothing else could replace. A lot of the guys, when they make uh, make a home for themselves and a name and then in 10 years are forgotten and struggling in the indie scene, they can't handle it and spiral down into drugs and alcohol and, you know... um, I mean, like, just to, just to name... I'm not going to name a few names, because that's Well, just we be, have a whole list of names, really. But I'm, but, well, I'm not going to say people... You know, but it's true. You get to that point where, like, everybody knows your name, right? And then now nobody remembers you, or you're like, oh, yeah, that guy. Yeah. You know? Uh, just the... I, I don't... I, I don't want to say names, but there was a... Uh, I don't know if we talked about it before, but we were also on, uh, we were at the uh, Legends of the, what was it, uh, uh, Fan Fest, New England yeah. Fan Fest. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I went by a table, and this guy was talking to the wrestler on the other side of the table, and he's like, oh yeah, I remember you from ECW. Man, that was a long time ago. And just walked away. And just walked away. And I watched I watched that wrestler's face kind of, kind of like shrugged it off like, yeah, whatever, but you know, you could tell that it hurts. Yeah. Losing fame is probably the worst thing in the world. Yeah, and you, you, you find you try to find comfort wherever you can. Yeah. Right, and and what happens to a large majority of these guys is because of the pain that they're in, they get addicted to pills, and because they don't have the fame that they used to have, they start drinking and doing harder drugs because the depression gets too much. Yeah, um, I'm going to put out a list of names right now. Uh, most of them have worked for ECW. Let's just put that out there. But there's, there's a run. Okay, run theme, there, yeah. there is. And, well, um, ECW ran a lot harder than most feds at the it time. It was a party in that locker room. They'll tell you. Oh, yeah. yeah. You know. Um, but uh, Bam Bam. OD. Test. OD. Big Dick Dudley. Possible OD. They yeah. don't really they, they know. They don't know on that one, yeah. Johnny Grunge. Mm-hmm. OD. Mm-hmm. Louis Spicoli. OD. Sensational Sherry. OD. Mike Awesome, Suicide, Luna, O.D., Benoit, Suicide. Uh, Buzz. Um, Matt Bourne, Doink, O.D., Renegade, Suicide, Kerry Von Erich, Suicide, Buzz Sawyer, O.D., Chris Canyon, Suicide, Crash Holly, O.D., <laughs> Ludwig Vo- uh, Borga, suicide. suicide, Anthony Durante, Pitbull number 2, Miss oh, your brother. Ludwig Vor? I thought yeah, he, I thought suicide. He, was it? Because I because I heard because last I heard he was like a congressman in like Sweden or some shit. No, he's dead now. Is uh, he? Pitbull yeah. number two, Anthony uh, O D. Miss Elizabeth O D. Mister mm-hmm. Perfect O D. Trent Acid O D. Reed Flair O D. Brian Adams O D. Sean O'Hare, suicide. Mike Von Erich O D. Chris Von Erich, suicide. A lot of them were either pills, the ODs, or, the or it was heroin. Yeah, it was yeah. a needle. That needle, yeah. man. That fucking needle. A lot of us have had alcohol and drug issues with, you know, we've grown up with. I grew up with alcohol, and, you know, my, my stepfather was an alcoholic. My my mom was what we would call a pharmaceutical gourmet. She was <laughs> on it all. Yeah. You know, um, luckily... I did not fall into that, but, you know, my younger sister did. Yeah. She's doing really well now. But a lot of us come from these backgrounds, and maybe that's why we go into, we went into a place where we were accepted, because everybody else in wrestling is broken just like us. Yeah. We're just a bunch of misfits. 
Well, it is a circus. Trying to live it, it is. They, they come from circuses, we so are, I mean, we are a bunch of carnies. Yeah. We do joke around about you know the the the, the, the curse of the nature. Nature's going to get yeah, you. Yeah. You know, Ric Flair shows up at your door. He just yeah. sucks your soul. But the truth is, is that the business eats its young. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. These. Oh wait, wait, wait. Real quick though. Okay. Yeah. I wanted to mention every single one of those names that I mentioned didn't see fifty. None of them. Damn. None of them made fifty. So then it makes you think about these following names. A bunch of ECW guys again. You yeah. got Sabu, who's just been a, a walking mess the last couple of really months. He really has, yeah. New Jack. Yeah. Okay. Sandman, we've seen it personally. <laughs> Sa- How is he alive? Like, uh... it's, I think he's pickled himself yeah. at this point. I <laughs> think he's just a walking pickle. He's got that Keith Richards syndrome? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> And then, you know, again, sadly, Sonny, you know, pouring pills and alcohol to the point where she's looking at a jail sentence now because nobody can go, hey, Knock it no, the fuck off. Yeah. how about we learn the word no? Yeah. If you see somebody who's nodding out while you've got your show going on, yeah. don't put her out there and exploit her. Tell her to stay home. Yeah. Okay. You don't, you don't, you don't take the risk of knowing what her habits are, putting her in those, those elements just kind of like what happened with Scott Hall this last summer down in uh, AC. He did a show, and he was a, around a bunch of young bucks, and, and they were all drinking. And they want and, to have a beer with them. And they, some, you know, the guys are very naive at certain points. You think these guys are really smart, but when it comes to wanting the accolades, yeah, they'll fall off the wagon. They'll do things that they normally won't do just to get, you know, the attention. Yeah. But like I said, and, and you know, so, you know, don't don't encourage it. If you know one of these legends has a problem, and you're hanging out with them, or you're handling them, or something, and somebody's you know tempting them with something that they really shouldn't have, tell the motherfucker to take a walk. Yeah, protect that legend, protect that person that you're with. Yeah, because yeah, like I said, like I was t- saying before, we joke around about certain things, but a lot. I mean, like the, the, it speaks for itself. NFL players don't drop as quickly as professional wrestlers. No. Professional wrestlers, you know, when we, when we started doing this, okay, when we started doing this, you, you, I, you really start to notice, you know, when, when you're around the business, you mm-hmm. really start to notice that these sons of bitches, they drop like fucking flies. Yeah. Yeah. They yeah. drop like flies. And the ones that do make it, like, to 60 or 70 or some shit like that, Mm -hmm. they don't have a goddamn cent to their fucking name. Unless you're people like Bruno, who were smart. Well, Bruno's the exception. Because he was the older, old school. All those guys learned to keep their money. Somewhere, like when I said, when the the Vince era came, when it was like, you know, Tuesday Titans and all that stuff, it was a party. Yeah. And nobody was saving their money. None yeah. of those. Ha- how many of those guys really have yeah. any of their money yeah. now? Well, Bruno was from like the 60s and 70s. And then when it got into right. the 80s. But yeah. that's, that's what I was just yeah, saying. Yeah, yeah. And now the younger kids are seeing, oh, okay, let me let me make sure I have. I mean, f- CM Punk, man, he, he yeah. had a he nice got cushion. Yep. Got in, got out. Got, and Daniel Bryant, he's going to have a nice right. cushion. He'll he's going to be, okay. be set for life. He'll be set. You know, I mean, Undertaker, he really doesn't need to work anymore. He can walk away. Well, he only works most of the time once a year, maybe twice. But the names yeah. that we're saying, I mean, like, it's it's like the 1%. I mean, because on the general, on a whole, I mean, you look at guys who wrestled in the 80s who were, still have to do it. Yeah. Like, their bodies should not do it, but they still have to do it. Look, I mean, like, guys, that, I, I, I'm not, I hate, I don't want to say names, yeah, but dude, I mean, man. like, Ricky Morton, okay? He could probably outwork me in a fucking circle, but here's the thing. His body shouldn't be doing that anymore. Yeah. He's at an age where he shouldn't be doing it anymore. Not that he can't, okay? I'm pretty sure he can go, but he should be at an age where he shouldn't have to do that anymore, but he's got to now. And then you've got guys like, you know, Jimmy and Sheiky and Nikolai and a Mm -hmm. few others that, you know, it's so embedded in them. Mm Mm-hmm. They know nothing else. Yeah, they don't know how to do anything they else. They don't know anything else. Yeah. They they can't survive without the fans shaking their hand. I mean... Yeah, no, I, like, I under, I, I get that. It's just... It's, you know... It's, it's mind-boggling. It's, I, guess the message, I guess the message I'm trying to say is to the younger generation, anybody who can listen to my voice, have another skill. 
Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. Don't Have a backup plan. Don't Go de- to college. Don't and, depend yeah. on this. This ain't gonna save. This ain't gonna pay your fucking way. If you, it's like winning the lottery. Yeah. If you if you make it in this business. Yeah. I, I would say this, um, with in regards to you know all these older wrestlers and everything like that. Like you said, if the newer generation is around them, you know what? If you see these guys and they have a problem, help them out. Just, like just help him out. Your brother. Okay. Just, We're supposed to be a family. Look yeah. out for each other. Don't don't encourage people's bad habits. Yeah. Help I'm, them defer from it. Yeah. Yes. You I know. Mean, I mean. I mean, you don't want to like who want? Okay, look, look. We didn't. Truth be told, like I haven't thought about Axel Rotten in a long time. But yeah. he still was like a. He was he like, was oh, cool! I get to watch Axel Rotten fucking bash somebody in the chair. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it was great to watch, yeah, right? Yeah. But now it's like, oh fuck! But that was that... all that was left for him after ECW because there was no WWE for him. Yeah, he never a made it. A lot of yeah. guys made it up there or over to WCW, and then here's your guys like, like I said, New Jack, Sandman, Sabu. Yeah. That none of these guys are going to touch because they're just so whacked in the head yeah. and so hardcore. I mean, even Mick Foley, for a time there, was just, dude, you're going to fucking yeah. kill yourself. Yeah. For what? Um, for what? And I'm glad he woke up. He said, you know what? I think I want to be Santa Claus now. Yeah. So, <laughs> I want to say maybe this. Maybe it was all those shots from uh, The Rock <laughs> that one time. Santa Claus. <laughs> right? I want to say this, because you had mentioned these guys, they maybe can go, but probably shouldn't. Mm-hmm. And you know what? It's not just relegated to the lower card guys. Sting will probably never wrestle again. Yeah. And do you want to know why? Because he's over 50 years old and he was taking buckle bombs from Seth Rollins. His body couldn't do it anymore. We saw him. He yeah. almost he almost passed out in the fucking ring. We, we were watching it. Watch him, cr- yeah. watch him, watch crumble. him crumble. It almost threw up the axe in the yeah. middle of a fucking main event at yeah. WrestleMania. Yeah. Yeah, that's... Or whatever it was, I, I think it was SummerSlam or some shit. I don't know. I can't remember. It was a World Championship <laughs> yeah, match yeah. at WrestleMania. It was a match. It was it was a match on fucking pay per view, and yeah, Sting will probably never wrestle again. And the thing is, with Sting, he didn't need the money. No, he didn't. He, it's he, they just can't let it go. They Man, just let it go. Yeah. Yeah. You gotta let it go because you know what? You're gonna take a buckle bomb and you're not gonna be able to fucking walk right for the rest of your life. Let it go. Yeah, seriously. Let listen to Elsa. Yeah. All right. Listen to I, Elsa. I, you know, I like. I just. It's part, maybe it's just a my part of my nostalgia that goes when I watch when I learn another fucking legend goes. Yeah. Like Axel Rotten. If you didn't watch ECW, you have no idea. You who don't he know was. who he is. Yeah. But I watched ECW because obviously we live in the Northeast, so yeah, yeah you know what ECW is. And yeah, yeah I was a, as a younger guy, I was like, yeah, that fucking Axel Rotten, Balls Mahoney, smash people with chairs. <laughs> yeah, because cool. yeah, we were fucking you know young all, kids. It's young kids. Yeah. But now you know you watch him like fuck. It's another member of um, you know of my fucking of childhood. God. Yeah. And for what he fuck because because the, these guys can't the guy can't be able to battle the demons on the on their own. Yeah. And. Dante had it right, you know. Fucking, you see these guys are having struggle and fucking pick them up. You're a brother. Yeah. But, you know, uh, our condolences to all of Axel's family and friends. Mm-hmm. Okay. Dante, you got any, you got anything else about this? I mean, no, like I no. I mean, no, it, it's just. It's and the sad. other thing is, you know, for those who are like kicking him and while he's down, it's like, oh, I told you so, and this, that, and the other, and have nothing negative to say. Yeah. You know, there as I as I wrote on a friend of mine's post about it. There are no saints in wrestling. Yeah. No saints. There's none. Even 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 Cena is not a saint. No, absolutely not. You don't make it in the Maybe business. Titus O'Neil might be the closest. But, but you, you know, don't touch the boss. Don't touch the boss. He gets don't suspended and fined. I guess that brings us to the next thing. Yes, <laughs> we, we could do that. We will yeah. move on. Even though Big Dick was like, nah, it's not topical anymore. It's, it's not really topical anymore. The man got suspended. He's going to be gone. And he got fined. I mean, don't yep. touch the boss. But here's the thing. What bothers me the most now, now that I know what the reason why he pulled McMahon, yeah. wasn't to play around. It was to let Stephanie go first. He was being a fucking gentleman. And Vince was like, fuck off. 
and 90 days because banishment. It's, because it's Vince's company. <laughs> it's, nice. it's Vince's empire. Yeah. <laughs> 90 days I am the banished. king. You don't touch I Caesar. I am the king of the hill and nobody else is yeah. higher you, than you me. You don't put your hands on Caesar. You don't tug on Superman's cape. Yeah. I get it, okay. but I mean like... No, I would, I, he's no Superman. I'd say yeah. he's more like a Caesar. Caesar. He's yeah, Caesar. Caesar. <laughs> Caesar. You don't touch Caesar. Okay. Yeah. But, yeah. You know, he's doing... <laughs> Fucking Caesar McMahon. Titus O'Neil is like the ultimate good guy, yeah. which is why he got suspended. And I'll explain. Because with Dante, and you guys just said, yeah, you don't make it in this business unless you got a little dirt on you, okay? Nobody's fucking, there's no saint in this business. Mm. Titus O'Neil might be the closest thing, yeah. which is why he's fucking suspended. He was doing the gentlemanly thing by letting a yeah. girl go first. No one likes a fucking goody two shoes. Get the fuck out. And then fucking nope. 60 days, $5,000, boom. As they say, no good deed goes unpunished. unpunished. <laughs> fucking Vince. No one likes the paladin. Nobody likes nope, the yeah. paladin. Nobody Titus likes the paladin. paladin. Nobody likes the fucking paladin. Paladin. Fucking $5,000 $5, fine. Five grand. I that's... mean, like, up to these guys, I'm pretty sure that it's like, okay, whatever. I mean, he can foot it, no problem, but, but that's not the point. But it's not the point. He was doing a fucking gentleman thing, and then Zeus was like, fuck you, Zap! <laughs> well, Zeus is a big baby anyway. Yeah. My empire! Yep. Banished for fucking 90 days! <laughs> Oh, they cut it down to 60. You're like, still. Henry you're like, this man doing coke, he, he got like 30 days and he had to go to rehab. Well, I just fucking said ladies first. And you're like, Wait, no. I just want to, I just want to, I just, when I was, when I went down to go see Jimmy this week. Yeah. Oh, okay. I, I saw Jimmy this week. He's, he's doing better. Um, he's gaining a little bit more weight. He was, he was alert that day and we had a good day. Um, but, uh, oh shit. God damn it. I was. Keep thinking about it. We'll talk about it. Okay, uh, never mind. You, you know, keep thinking about it. No, I it, it dropped out. It's gone. It's gone. I think Shit. it's gone. I think it's gone. <laughs> you you Wait, took too long getting to it. it. You keep I thinking. Did. You just keep focusing I on can't. that. And I'll vamp. Oh my god. We had a friend go down. We had a friend go down. He had himself yeah. a nice little mark out moment with me and Jimmy Superfly Snooker. Mm -hmm. It was a nice picture taken. And you could tell that our friend had like an ear to ear grin, and he was just he was just in he was in love with the fucking moment. Was, our, our friend, he's a he's a big um, homesteader, survivalist type of guy, and he's not a kook. He's he's really he's really got it down packed, you know. And he was telling Jimmy all about his different ideas and how he was going to set up his home and stuff. And Jimmy was just like, with every word that our friend said, that you know, Jimmy just like more in respect for him. Yeah. And it was it was cool to see, but I still can't remember what we were <laughs> going to say. I, I tried to set you up for it. Um, That's all right. Oh, I hit well, my well, too, many what, times, too, well, well, too many times. Too many times. Too many times. We're gonna many move times. on because we do need to talk about fast lane actually because it's coming up this. Oh, Sunday. I remembered. Okay, never mind about fast lane. Fuck off. It was a question <laughs> about the Hall of Fame. Okay. Because Strangler mentioned that he watched someone's video. That we said we were going to sit down and watch, but we have not because I don't think we want to see the horror of of Sonny's video. I'm watching that. Well, like I said, uh, well, even he <laughs> said it's what's been seen cannot be unseen. In Strangler's uh, words, it was, uh, it's like somebody went into the trailer park, found that 40-year-old, uh, you know. She was hot 20 years ago. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and you can tell. And you can tell. But why is it that Triple H can use the excuse China can't be in the Hall of Fame because she did porn, but what the fuck, why is it okay that Sonny can keep the Hall of Fame title? Yeah, and keep doing the antics that she's doing. And, and, I, and I swear to God, this is not bashing. I'm, I'm just trying to... I don't understand the logic. It's okay for one, but not the other. Because... You know, because she can keep doing all that she's doing, but you can't say, you know, the N-word if, if, you're, if you're Hulk Hogan. China, well, China's the X. Okay. Yeah, but it's, but China's now, the X. That's now what, it's hypocritical. He's, Look at this stuff. Remember, remember the slammies, the shoot that, that Shawn have, Michaels and Triple H did on Sonny. Sure, but you still got to go home to you got to go home to Steph. Okay, you got you still got to answer to the wife. Okay, wife doesn't want her in there. Come up with any fucking excuse not to put her in. Look, I'm not. He's not saying it's right. He's just saying that's oh, the agree. way it is. I, I you hear know. what you're saying, but yeah. I, but it was just what, that was that was one of the conversations. Yeah. Why is it that some people are getting kicked out, but others who are exhibiting the same or maybe even worse behavior still well, get to keep their rings. It's the morality barometer, right? What's worse than something else? What could, you know, it, you never know. So it's like... You gotta, I mean, like, that brings up a good point. I mean, like, you have Hogan using the N-word, okay? Yeah. That's bad. That's really bad, okay? 
Jimmy's indicted for bad, we just bad things, okay? And then, then you have uh, Sunny, who um, she did, she she did a porn movie, and you know, uh, Vince has been known to be with uh, what's wrong? No, everything's fine. Okay, v- v- you know, Vince was you know with Playboy. So, I mean, like, it's... Yeah, they did have that run there for a while. Yeah, they did. Plus, they're trying to do the more racy thing. I mean, if you watch The New Day, they were given, like, blowjob oh, did you animation. See, and yeah. did you see the thing with uh, Goldust yes. and R-Truth? Oh, my God. Don't you don't you point that towards me. <laughs> I was oh. like, oh, I guess they're getting a little bit more attitude-ish. Yeah, yeah it's, it's getting very racy. Good. Good. It needs to. That was to. funny. I was just sitting there like, did they just do a... Blowjob reference <laughs> there in the ring with Big E. Yeah. Oh my God, Big Whoa. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I was like, okay, the clarinet, and then then they started doing it. And I'm like, oh, oh no. Yeah. I wonder if they got any flack in the back for that. I haven't seen anything I, on the no. boards. I haven't seen anything Quiet. either. If you're over, it doesn't matter. It's true. If you're over, you get more leeway if you're over. It's true. That's why the rock could go off script like the way he did. Exactly. And you as know, long as it's not written on his hand. Yeah. <laughs> So, but we, but we do have to move on. We have to move on to fucking fast lane. Oh, he's um, moving on. Can't just fucking on. riff. No, we can't riff. Why? Why? Because I told you so. No, that's mm-hmm. bullshit. Because I'm the host. Fuck fast lane. Let's talk about the Undertaker's opponent at WrestleMania. We will. I want to talk about fast lane first. Hmm? What's wrong? Uh-uh. All right. So let's let's talk about this episode of Raw. Yeah. Well, that they're uh, going to yeah. rip people for pay per view money for. Like, uh, unless so, you have the network. That's mm-hmm. true. Um, so, Raw ended, number one, it was a kind of a shitty go-home show. I don't know if any, everybody else watched it. <laughs> it ended um, with Braun Strowman Big Show. Yeah, that was very strange. But, um, the, the pay-per-view, uh, is set. They got, and I'm gonna, th- makes me mad to even say this. Kalisto, who is the U.S. champ. Yeah. Okay. Going against Del Rio. Should be great. Mm-hmm. Should be oh, a great match. Again. In the fucking pre-show. Again. Oh, so like a championship match. A championship match that should be on the main card is on the pre-show. Two out of three falls, by the way. Two out of three falls. It's a gimmick. It's a gimmick. Yeah. Championship match Two on the pre-show, falls on the, but on the pre-show. I don't fucking get it. Um, I like honestly. I, I guess Kalisto to retain because I don't think they can put the strap back on Alberto. I would. Sin Cara is better. Yeah, that's and true. Sin Cara is better. You can take the belt off of Kalisto. Um. So the then you got AJ Styles versus Chris Jericho. I Dante, expect. Well, that's Dante. What she? Oh, mm-hmm. what? What do you think? Uh, who do you think? Uh, Kalisto and Rio. Um. Honestly, in this match, I really don't care. <laughs> I don't. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. Um. Like I said, it's like watching them raw. You got Styles and Jericho. I like Styles to go over to so they can keep pushing him. They, that that'll probably yeah, happen. I agree. Um, the six man tag match, I met. I like the Wyatts to go over actually because. But do they ever win a pay per view? They they have yeah. They're, but and they're also due for one I think so. Yes. The the Wyatts need to win clean actually. Are we setting up for maybe a WrestleMania? Yeah, I don't, I, I, well the Wyatts maybe? still have to feud with Brock, so we're gonna figure that out too. I, I, I well, that might be the fourth person because right now you've got three it's gonna against be th- four. No, it's three. Well, no, it's three. Harper, Rowan, and Strowman versus Kane. Right, and but then, then if Wyatt's you, outside. But in, yeah. then if you bring Brock in, yeah, then you can have. I mean, if you want to set him up one against the other, yeah. you could definitely have Ryback go up against uh, Wyatt. Yeah. And or uh, a Bray, and then Big Show and Brom and Kane and. Uh, Thing is, are you going to relegate Brock to the lower mid card? Yeah, no, nah, not when, not when you've been pushing yeah. him as a an attraction. Yeah, you can't. yeah, that's okay. Um, Kevin Owens versus Ziggler. There was no push for this whatsoever because Owens, Owens go, got keep it. Owens should keep it. Yeah. They're, not, they're not gonna leave it to Dolph. Yeah, <laughs> no. I mean Dolph is great, but uh, he's, he's the whipping boy. He's, he's the whipping boy. He's the he's the guy to make you look good. Uh, Becky Lynch and Sasha versus Team Bad. Um, um I would gonna, imagine it's gonna Sasha. Be, it's going to be Becky Lynch and yeah, Sasha. They they need a push because Team Bad. That's done. And Tamina, it's, as you can see, she's working injured, so yeah, she's got a huge knee brace on. Yeah, I'll say I'll say uh, I'm also agreement with uh, Lynch and uh, Banks yeah. over with Banks and fucking over Becky. Becky yeah. right after that match. Yeah, 
Uh, the next one, um, Charlotte and Brie Bella. Charlotte Charlotte's going to go over because yeah. Brie's already saying she's leaving. Yeah. So that see, that's why I feel like this is yeah. this isn't even a really predictable. Sh- However, the main show. event is interesting to me. Ambrose. Okay. okay. I like Ambrose. Okay, so it's Ambrose, Reigns, and Brock Lesnar triple triple threat, and the winner goes to main event WrestleMania. Okay. Oh, well, it's Brock. No, I don't think so. You think it's good? I, it's either they good. had Ambrose, Ambrose or, drop. Yeah, he's, they're setting him up for something. They're setting him up for something. I like Ambrose to go over, and then do a heel turn. You and then do a heel turn because I like the heel turn before he goes over. <sighs> I think you know, fuck it, you know. Things are, you know, whatever yeah. happens in the ring, everybody's yeah. down. Fucking Roman goes for, you know, uh, a cover. Referee's yeah. down. Fucking chair to the back. Boom. Yeah. Toss him out of the ring. One, two, three. It's mine. Yeah, they both, they both work down Lesnar together. Well, yeah, it's it's triple threat anyway, so there's no DQ. So, yeah. you know, you can pretty much do whatever you want. So I I don't know how you would do a heel turn in that instance. I just told you. I mean, like it's yeah. There's no DQ, but it. Yeah. it it's psychologically, you're doing it behind the ref's back. Yeah. So if the ref doesn't see it, they didn't know that the show yeah, was in the match. That's the cheap heel turn that's right the cheap there. Heel turn. I, I see that happening. What if you can, lose if you must, but always, always cheat. cheat. I think Ambrose works better as a face. Uh, they've been pushing him as a face, yeah. uh, so I don't, I don't know. I but I like Ambrose to go over. You just had your two heel turns, as you kept saying. I want my heel turns. Yeah. We just had uh, Dudley Boy's turn. Yep. And uh, who's oh, who else? Um, there's a second one I can't remember for Monday night. Uh, it was. Uh, I mean, Jericho's been kind of heelish. Yeah. 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 Well, they're trying to push AJ. But anyway, I like Abe. I like. I Amber heard rumor that AJ is catching a lot of heat. Is he really in the back? Yeah, For what? I, probably. Maybe Tood. You think? Maybe, maybe. Yeah. Well, because you know, again, you know, he is the as they were kind of ribbing on him, in the as as Jericho was saying, mm-hmm. you know, uh, he is the rookie here. He may not be a rookie in the business, mm-hmm. but as far as being in the WWE, I've been here fifteen years. You've been here five minutes. Yeah. You know what? You know, and he's walking around, maybe he's walking around in the back, doing a little, you know, puffing out the chest a little bit more than he should be. He is a young kid, you know, he's, he's, he did a lot in TNA, a what? lot, he was the head of a faction down there. Well, that's why I kind of think that, you know, I, I don't like the fact that they're like, well, you've been here for five minutes. AJ Styles has a fucking name. He's been all over the fucking world. I'm sorry that he hasn't been in the WWE because the reason why is because you haven't. You know he was locked down in TNA, fucking on his on like on his like second fucking TNA title run. If they if he would have left his contract, Vince would have signed him up like that. Yeah, you know. So I'm I'm sorry, fucking AJ, AJ Styles has a right to fucking you know puff out his chest, you know a little bit. He, you know, fucking. Otherwise, they wouldn't let him come in with his fucking. Name. I'm just speculating. Yeah. I'm not saying he <laughs> yeah. is. No, no, I'm just speculating because I, I, cause I, I just I, saw something mentioned. Yeah, I've seen that. I've seen that on TV too. Like they keep fucking pointing at it. That bothers me. And I like the fact that months ago, fucking Kevin Owens, yeah. fucking put scene in his place. He's, He's like, like, no, no fuck you. Yeah, I've, I've been, been doing this. this. I've yeah. been doing this just as long as you have. Sorry, you got your break first. Yeah. I like that. I like the fact that they, you know, fucking these guys will fucking say, no, I've been in the fucking indies toiling. Here's the thing, but Kevin Owens... Been in the Owens, trenches. We've been yeah. on the front lines, yeah. man. You've been sitting up here in the officer's area. Kev- Kevin Owens, uh, number one, I don't think Kevin Owens will ever work as a face. No. No, he can't. But he is a, what I'd like to call a working man's champion. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, he's got the look... Of a working man's champion, and he's got the attitude of a working man's champion. Which is what Austin was. Yeah. So, uh, I, I don't know if he'll ever work face, but it would be interesting to see what happens with him. But anyway, <laughs> um, you want to talk about Undertaker. Okay? Not yet. What? Well, cause, because also on this card, you have an oh. interview spot That's right. with... The New Day, and they're going to be on the Cutting Edge Peep Show with Edge and Christian. I actually want to watch that. (laughs) That looks looks fucking funny. Here's what I think is going to happen. Go ahead. Okay, because you don't have the New Day on the card and not have them wrestle. Yeah. Edge and Christian have their their gimmick. Yeah. Okay, and they bring them out. But guess who I think interrupts and challenges them to a match? Not that they win, but they bring out uh, Cass and and Enzo Amore. (sighs) 
Ooh, they are supposed to bring them up. They are traveling with the main roster. Oh, they are. They have been for about a, a month or two now. And it would be prime for them to fucking, for Edge and Christian to go, hey, we got a couple of guys that uh, wants to go. And then all of a sudden, fucking their music hits. Yeah. And how are you doing? Yeah. Fucking crowd go, oh! Yeah. Be great. That's a good idea. That's a good idea. Where's that go? <laughs> but I don't want to put it there. Yeah. That's a good idea. <laughs> gotta, uh, put it in the box. Yeah. In the ocean. In the right? Ocean. Throw it in the ocean. We're putting a lot of pollution in the ocean. Yeah. On the, yeah. <laughs> it's a bunch of good ideas. It's a bunch of good ideas. Uh, but let's talk about The Undertaker for a brief moment. Um, there has been confirmation that there has been an opponent chosen for, for Undertaker. <laughs> there has been. <laughs> that's, but that's... we don't know who it is. Okay? It's speculated that it is someone that is not on the roster right now. Okay? Now, I take this let's to mean... Let's waste another spot. I take this to mean Finn Balor. Yeah. Because mm. Finn Balor is not on the Raw roster. He's on the NXT roster. But that's the, that's the big question. How is the wording of this? Yeah. Is it they just said it's not on the current roster right now. Now, are they talking on the roster as a whole? Because WWE uh, encompasses Raw, yeah. SmackDown, NXT, yeah. encompasses everything. Yeah. Or are they talking about somebody who's completely not in the company? Yeah. So, because uh, you and I had a discussion about this. Oh, okay? yeah. There's a couple yeah. ideas. So, so, like, I don't think they're going to bring somebody back like the rock or austin or something like that i don't think they're gonna do that because if they're gonna do that it can't be a surprise Mm -hmm. because you want to sell out jerry world right because wrestlemania is at jerry world this year okay so (laughs) you know you you know okay there's a hundred thousand strong you want to sell that shit out so if they were if they want to do that then i would announce it probably on to next week's raw right after fast lane okay if it's not going to do that, if it is going to be a surprise, then it should be Finn Balor, okay? Uh, mm. Because everybody knows who he is, okay? It'll be a great entrance at WrestleMania, and it could be an open challenge for Taker. Mm-hmm. It could be a great match, and Finn can go over. And, yeah, hold the title. And hold the it. crowd would go ape shit. I think they would. I think if this, honestly, if that's a great way yeah. to, 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 I guess, be... Uh, the twilight of Taker's career. Yeah. You know, put the put the mantle of the phenom or the demon yeah, yeah. on somebody else, let them carry it. And you know what? Finn Balor can do that. Um, and then bring Fab- Finn Balor up and then have Finn Balor feud with Bray Wyatt. Of course. And that's how you bring him in. That would be nice. It's a good idea. Oh, no. <laughs> we need to really stop coming up with ideas. Yeah. <laughs> we really, we gotta stop that <laughs> shit, man. But I had thought that since they're in Texas, okay? Yeah. Do a Texan versus Texas in Texas, and yeah. that's you know bring Austin back for that one match. Not that like I'm not saying this is going to happen, but that would be my my way of sell, selling out Jerry World. Not that because yeah. because then I wouldn't make it. Uh, I would not make it a uh, surprise. No, then you got to sell tickets. I, I, start, yeah. I start selling. Shawn Michaels. Sha, he's retired. He's, he's definitely done. retired. No, no, yeah, okay. he's yeah. done. He's definitely said yeah. you know he's not going to do the Ric Flair thing, and yeah. you know, but Austin says he's got one one left in the tank. And if he's got one left in the tank, and think about it, I mean, there'd be not a dry eye in the house, right? Yeah. They tear, you know, take her and fucking Austin tear the house down like they always have. Yeah. And at the end, whoever, you know, it doesn't even matter who goes over, fucking they just walk off arm in arm like, yeah. they, like they did with fucking Triple H. Yeah. Fucking, and you know both of this is going to be their final matches, not dry in the house, okay? Fucking, that's how you It's win. great, but if they're going to do that, they have to announce it. It yeah. cannot be a surprise. Absolutely. Yeah, so. But, you know, Triple H has to put himself in there somewhere, too. <laughs> yeah, well, he's already in the main event with the title. What, <laughs> is, what, like, what else does he want? Okay? He wants it all. <laughs> what part of it's all about the game? <laughs> right? Do you not understand? We had a show that we said, look. It's it really all, is? It is really it's all, all about, about the, the game. game. But. Um, and that brings us to the end, but you have a show to push. I do! I do! You'll probably not hear about this until next week, so it doesn't matter. But you're gonna push it anyway. We're gonna push the shit out of it no, anyway. No, no, we could actually put this up Sunday. Yeah, I'll put it up Sunday. Put it up okay. Sunday. Okay, we'll put it up Sunday. Yeah. So, anyway, today, since we're gonna put it up on Sunday. Yeah. Today is Thursday. Today is Thursday, but you're listening to this on Sunday the 21st. Sunday the 21st in Wallington, New Jersey, 67 Hathaway Street. Morgan Jr. Arena, uh, me and uh, Cancer are going to be uh, uh, wrestling for uh, Ice ice Wrestling, yeah. uh, Impact Championship Entertainment, I believe. Yes. Mm-hmm. And uh, we're going up against the Super Savages. 
which is caveman and manti. Mante. 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 <laughs> um, <laughs> 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 Mante. But, <laughs> Mante. 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 But we're going to be uh, working them and it's going to be a good time. Um, and then we're going to come back here and watch Fast Lane. And, you know, kind of conk out watching, you know, Sunday Night Raw, so. Sunday Night Raw. <laughs> Sunday Night Raw. Sunday yeah. Night Heat. <laughs> Sunday. Oh. oh. Shotgun Saturday Night. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, um, that'll wrap it up for us. So, for, Oh, wait, 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 wait. What? Before we go. What? Would, oh, they're not, they're not going to, oh, never mind. There, there's brought, no point. There's, it, no, there's point. no point. What? Don't miss, I, nope. Don't worry about it. It would have already happened, yeah. so. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. What happened? Don't worry about it. But I'm curious now. No, we're, we're, I'll tell you after we're how done. Did, how did your 24-hour uh, podcast I'll let you know switch. in the future past. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let you know in the future past. Yeah, I'm about to... Well, not about to. <laughs> but um, uh, tomorrow, which would be Friday... But you're going to listen to this on Sunday. So, which, which would have been past this past yeah, Friday. the fucking future past. Um, <laughs> but you can catch it on replay. Um... <laughs> I'll be doing a 24-hour stream uh, to celebrate the 30th anniversary of Legend of Zelda. So, gotta rest up for that. But, but I'll let you know how it is on the next podcast, which will be recorded in a week or so. Something like that. In the future. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta get out of here. Alright, so... Gotta get but back tell them where they can find the video, because eventually... They'll 8 get... Legends, twitch.tv slash 8 underscore bit underscore legends. You can also find them on Facebook. Yes, and Twitter. And Twitter. So, for Krim... Yeah, that's, that's me! And for Dante... Yo! I'm Big Dick Gideon, and we will talk to you all next week. So, something like that. <laughs> <laughs>